The system is riven with inequality. One hears too often for comfort, uh, kinship care and special guardians making this complaint. They feel they're being taken advantage of by the state. So the truth for many special guardians is they are locked out of the system. In terms of what happens at the moment of support that's available to special guardians, it varies enormously across the country, but it's patchy. It feels as though because it's family, family is enough. I think local authorities have been slow to recognise the particular needs of, of special guardians. I think they're, they're getting a lot better at that now. We as a society haven't yet recognised just how much we owe special guardians and that we really need to be investing in it. Um, going forward into the future, the key thing though is to make sure the fund remains in place, is available to special guardians as well as to adoptive families. This is about vulnerable children living in complex circumstances um, and that as a state we have duties and responsibilities and obligations. But ultimately comes back to this, I mean, are we a decent caring society? And if the answer to that is yes, then these resources have to be found.